Brett from Functional Flex Team FFLEX. I'm here in the office. I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to train with an injury. So, as much as you might want it to never fucking happen, it will happen. You will get injured somehow, one way or fucking other. A lot of people are always worried about getting hurt in the gym. Yeah, a lot of you don't get hurt in the gym. A lot of you are going to get hurt just living your fucking life. You're going to wake up and take a piss in the middle of the night and stub your damn toe. You're going to go pick up the newspaper and throw your fucking back out. You're going to be walking around and r run into a fucking wall and hurt your shoulder. This is the type of shit I've heard for years and years, by the way. I didn't just make any of those scenarios up. Those are all realistic scenarios I've heard from actual clients of mine where they sustained injuries in that manner. And now they gotta deal with it because you still got goals, you still got results. And I'm gonna tell you 99.9% .9 of the time, the worst thing you can do is miss the gym. The worst thing you can do to heal an injury you got is to stop training, to sit on your fucking ass. A lot of time that's how you got the damn injuries in the first place. So, what do you need to do? How do you need to do it? You got to make sure that when you train in the gym, if you got an injury going, you don't fucking aggravate it further. Very simple. You feel pain, you do something else. It sounds really fucking complicated, doesn't it? If you guys go into the gym, your back hurts, you do an exercise, it hurts your back more, stop doing that damn exercise, do something else. There's about a million different exercises you can do for every part of your body that you can tweak in one way or another to not cause pain. And the main thing is, is to not be an idiot and train through a pain. Now, there's a lot of controversy on that, but the moral of the story is, if you have pain, that's a signal from your body shutting that area down, and if you keep attacking it, you're going to keep signaling to your body to shut that area down. It will not go away, it will not get better, and it's going to get aggravated and probably get worse if you continue to train through it. So what you need to think about instead is training around it. So for example, a lot of people end up with shoulder pains, okay? So if you've got shoulder pains, and let's say you're doing a chest exercise, it hurts, you're doing bench press, it hurts. Don't do the damn bench press. Figure out another movement you can do for your chest. Go try some flies. Go try some single arm press. Go try a few things here and there and if everything hurts, just fucking don't train chest that day. <laughs> and then you can let it relax, you can let it heal, and you can let it go. If you can train around it, you can continue to train and do different movements and it's gonna heal at the same pace anyway. A lot of times, you guys, injuries, people don't know this, are going to be accelerated in the healing process by actually training. Because you're going to get better blood flow, you're going to get better movement, you're going to let your body continue to move naturally as opposed to getting tightened up from doing nothing, and you're going to heal a lot faster and a lot better. So it is always a better idea to try to train around things or continue to exercise despite injuries you have as long as you can do it without aggravating that. Okay? Back pain. This was the number one, this is like the number one or two cause of doctor visits. Uh, is back pain. Everybody's going to go through episodes of back pain in their life, whether it be from training or not, it happens to people. So a lot of times what you guys got to do with the back pain is do what you can do. Work around it. Keep working. Uh, if you can't go do deadlifts, don't do deadlifts that day. See if you can do rows. See if you can do chest supported rows. See if you can do some pull downs. See what you can still train in the same muscle groups, but not the same exercise per se if they're causing you pain or aggravation. It's very simple to continue to work around an injury. You guys, I've had so many injuries over my years uh, in the gym and out of the gym and like 99% of the time again it was not from anything in the gym but even if it was I was always able to go and train through it and continue to make results continue to make progress and I had tons and tons of clients there's a lot of clients that I've had that have had chronic injuries that are not going to be fixed they can't get better uh, you know like they got disc issues or something like that where it's severe it's chronic it's happened for 40 years and they're still working through it so you can do it as long as you know how to operate and not, you know how to work around it and you can make sure that you do the number one fucking thing which is do not cause more pain if you feel more pain move on skip it do something different continue to train but never in pain coach try is out <laughs>